Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week's episode was an interview on personal success, during which some really great tips were shared on what to do and what to consider when making a life or a career transition. Please go back and listen to episode 21 to hear and to glean from that conversation if you haven't already done so. I plan to periodically bring you interview episodes on the topic of personal success, featuring people from all walks of life who will share their perspective on success, what it means to them, and how they have successfully navigated transitions in their lives. So please stay connected to the podcast in the coming weeks for future interview episodes. Today, I want to talk about majoring in the minor, majoring in the minor. My grandmother used this expression often when referring to leaders who she felt had missed the mark, so to speak. So what does majoring in the minor mean? Major by definition means important, while minor means not as important. So when you major in the minor, you essentially give importance to stuff that isn't that important, or in some cases, not important at all. A good illustration is a college major, which is your course of study's primary focus while pursuing a bachelor's degree, while your minor in college is a secondary focus after your major. A key difference between a major and a minor is that a major appears on your diploma, while a minor doesn't. Imagine if you don't understand that distinction and spend all of your time focusing on a minor while ignoring your major. Not only will it take you longer to get a degree, which will, of course, cost you time, money, and effort, you will have defeated the purpose of going to college in the first place, which is to get a degree. I read that, simply put, majoring in the minor means putting undue attention on small things that don't make a real difference, while neglecting to pay attention to the larger actions that make a huge difference. It is staying focused on what is important and what helps you keep the major things front and center. So when you major in the minor, you place your focus on the less important things over the more important ones. You give your time, your attention, your energy, and your resources to the unimportant stuff in your life or the stuff that really ultimately doesn't matter. You know, we live in an age of technology where we feel compelled to answer every text, every phone call, every request and demand for our attention in real time, every day and all day long. And on social media, we sometimes feel, you know, pressure to respond to every comment that's made on our posts. The problem with doing that is it's time consuming and it's a fast track to burnout, frustration and exhaustion. When you respond to every situation that comes your way, you are allowing other people and other situations to dictate your priorities. You're giving control of what is important or or should be important to you to other people. It is important that you manage your expectations of yourself, but you also need to manage other people's expectations of you. I always say, if you don't define who you are and what you can handle, a script will be written for you by other people, guaranteed. In other words, people will try to tell you who you are, what you can handle, and they will sometimes give you what is their responsibility or what is their problem to solve. The challenge is, The minor stuff of life can sometimes appear major while it is happening. So it's up to you to discern and to have two categories in your life, major versus minor. Think of that, you know, when you draw a chart and you have columns and one column says major and one column says minor, you know, have those two categories in your life um, and identify and place things where they belong. Because if you spend all of your time reacting to everything that's thrust at you or that comes your way, when the big stuff or the major stuff or the important stuff happens, you won't have the energy to deal with it, or you won't be able to come up with the right strategy to deal with it or to make a decision concerning it. A better use of your time, your attention, your energy, and your resources. Determine what is important to you and make sure that your choices, your decisions, and your focus align with what you said your priorities are. 
And you can achieve that by asking yourself, what is important to you? What are your priorities? Start building your life around that answer. Find out your purpose in life and, you know, pursue that as best as you can. Do things that align with your purpose and your priorities. For instance, if family is one of your priorities, make sure your life, your schedule, and your resources reflect that. Don't say one thing and then, you know, do another. There's a scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of these things will be added unto you. That scripture is really telling us and teaching us to keep the most important thing, your main focus, the main thing, the main thing, and that everything else will fall in line. I heard somewhere that you are the CEO of your life, which means you determine the direction of your life. You decide what is important and how you will spend your time. But if you don't determine your priorities, others will, as I said before, impose on you what they think your priorities should be. And you will probably spend your entire life majoring in what's minor. As CEO of your life, going with that analogy for a minute, you can hire and you can fire accordingly. Use the power of outsourcing and delegation. Outsource those things that are not the best use of your time, energy, talent, skills, and resources. Ask yourself if there's someone better suited to do the task that's being asked of you. Just because you're asked to do something doesn't mean you have to say yes. Don't let unimportant matters consume all of or most of your time and energy. Work smarter, not harder. I read somewhere that if you want to grow, if you want to succeed in life, don't major in minor things. Instead, major in major things. In other words, do not waste your time doing what you are not good at. Focus on what you're really good at and what you will do really well. Your prosperity and your success will come from your strengths, not from your weaknesses. On the other hand, if you spend your time doing minor things, unproductive things, you will get minor results. To avoid that, focus on what is important to your growth and development. As a popular quote says, don't spend major time on minor things. I'm going to close with some questions that you can ask yourself to avoid majoring in the minor on a, you know, day-to-day basis, especially when you're feeling obligated or pressured to handle something or respond to something that is being thrust at you. And those questions are, is there someone else that can do it better? or who should be doing it? Are you allowing someone's lack of planning to become your emergency? Are you enabling the person if you do what is being asked? Does it align with your purpose and your priorities? And if I do this, will I be guilty of majoring in the minor? Do your best, do your very best to make sure the answer to that last question, am I majoring in the minor? Is throughout your life a clear and consistent no? Finally, I say to you, don't miss the big picture of your life dealing with the small stuff. As the saying goes, don't sweat the small stuff. Reserve your energy for the big stuff, the stuff that matters, the major stuff. When it comes to your life, you cannot afford to be a player in the minor leagues. You must be a major league player only. Major in the major don't major in the minor. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.